All right, so once we have the guides where we want and the, the general shape of the hair in, usually I, I turn off the guides just so we can see the hair to work on the modifiers. So you don't want to, if you click off the top visual for the guide, it'll turn off the, the guides themselves. So what you want to do is hit the second one and it'll just hide the guides, but their effects on the hair will still be there. So the way the modifiers work is the ones on the top take priority over the ones on the bottom. So the guides are really our base for the entire sculpt. And then usually I follow the same order, um, which uh, is I start with clumps and then I'll add noise and then I'll fine tune with this sculpt down here. So. Let's add the first clump. Let's uh, turn the density multiplier up a little bit. And get back to our clump. Usually I'll, I'll uncrimp the end a little bit, relax the clump just a little bit. Now the number of clumps, it, I mean, it depends on the hairstyle. This usually looks good, and hair naturally clumps like this. Um, and then within these clumps, there's usually even finer clumps. So I, you, you almost always use two sets of clumps. So then the second clump modifier, and changing the density. So this density was at 1. And this second one, I'll probably turn this up to, I don't know, 50. So you can see now that within the clumps, there's many little clumps. And it starts to give us a more natural looking hair. Now on this bottom layer of clumps, let me turn off the second layer of clump. I want to add a little bit of curl and you do this under the clump modifier and you change the curl scale um, and also under advanced shape you add curl so this graph right here in the center there represents no curl at the bottom tight curls now the reason it's not looking that great right now is because my CV count is really low. So I'm going to go back to the demo hair base and up my CV count to maybe 15. Hit rebuild. And it's looking a little bit better. Let me go back to the clump. Maybe I'll have it so that it only curls towards the very end. And maybe I'll do two curls. Push this back a little bit. And add the second. good so far and then I'll add in a noise modifier and this is just like a general breakup and kind of fizzes the hair and you can take the noise as far as you want um, usually one is a good magnitude I usually turn it down a little bit um, but for something really crazy like this you could bump it all the way up but you will pretty much negate the clump modifiers underneath it if you take it too far, huh? The next thing that we want to do is fix this clipping here. Once we, ha we have the general modifiers in the right order, 
And you can play around with the order and see what they look like by just clicking and dragging them around. Sometimes it looks a little bit better to have the noise between the clumps or underneath the clumps. But I think I'm happier with it on top. Now what I want to do is fine tune this and make sure that no hairs are clipping the ear or penetrating the scalp. So I take this sculpt modifier that's way at the bottom here, drag it to the top, click to edit it, and then I'll go in with a, a grab brush. And I actually want to turn symmetry off because both sides are not the same. Oops, turn it off. And then just grab it and push it or pull it. Just enough so it's not obviously, you know, uh, clipping in your model because you might be waiting for a really long render and then have a stray hair that goes right into the skin of your model and can be really frustrating results and you have to redo the whole thing. Uh, another thing you can do is add an additional sculpt layer and if you wanted to have random stray hairs uh, going everywhere bring this to strays you could take your freeze brush freeze everything and then take it all the way down and just unfreeze unfreeze a couple hairs here and there and then you can use these to make little stray hairs or flyaways and for someone with a really messy hairstyle this works really well And if it's getting too bent out of shape, you can come in with the smooth brush. Or likewise, if you want to just add random noise, you can go in with the, the noise brush. And it's these little flyaway hairs that really add a lot of realism. Because unless it, the, the hair was perfectly combed right before uh, the photo was taken it will likely have a bunch of these little fine hairs that are uh, in in random positions not going along with the rest of the hair so let me unfreeze everything So that pretty much covers my groom modifier workflow. Um, there are other uh, groom modifiers, and I do use them occasionally, but almost always a clump, noise, scale, and sculpt, and and the guide modifiers are the ones that I use most commonly. If you have any questions, leave comments below, and uh, hopefully this was helpful for you. Please like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.